I am Mrs. Roma Malik and I will be teaching class 11th biology, unit diversity in the living world, the chapter biological classification. Now what is biological classification? It is the scientific procedure of arranging organisms into groups and subgroups on the basis of their similarities and dissimilarities and placing the groups in a hierarchy of categories. It was first proposed by Aristotle based on morphological characters. Linnaeus further classified them into two kingdoms, Plantae and Animalia. R. H. Whittaker proposed a five kingdom classification, Monera, Protesta, Fungi, Plantae, Animalia. We will be discussing these kingdoms one by one. Kingdom Monera. It is found everywhere and in extreme habitats. It is grouped under four categories based on their shapes. Cocci, which are the spherical ones. Bacilli, the rod shaped ones. Vibrium, the coma shaped. Spirilla, the spiral shaped. They have metabolic diversity. They may be autotrophic, photosynthetic autotrophic as well as chemosynthetic autotrophic. A vast majority are heterotrophs. It includes archibacteria and eubacteria. Archibacteria are found in harsh habitats. They are halophils, they are found in salty areas, thermoacidophils that is in hot springs and methanogens in marshy areas. They have different cell wall structure which helps their survival in extreme conditions. U bacteria, they are the true bacteria. They have a rigid cell wall, cyanobacteria, Nostoc, Anabina are all included under this. Cyanobacteria has chlorophyll A. They are photosynthetic, autotrophs, unicellular, colonial, filamentous, marine or terrestrial. Nostoc and Anabina, they can fix atmospheric nitrogen in specialized cells called heterocyst. They have a mucilage sheath around their colony as well. The heterotrophic bacteria act as decomposers. They are also responsible in the preparation of curd from milk. They are able to fix nitrogen and helps in the production of antibiotics. Some of them are pathogens. They damage human beings, farm animals as well as other organisms. Reproduction is by fission and under unfavorable condition it is by spores. Kingdom Protesta, they are single celled eukaryotes which includes chrysophytes, dianoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds and protozoans. Chrysophytes, they are the diatoms and golden algae. Their characteristics are, they are found in fresh water and marine. They are photosynthetic. Cell wall forms two thin overlapping shells. Their walls are embedded with silica. They are the chief producers in the oceans. Dianoflagellates. They are mostly marine and photosynthetic. Cell wall has a stiff cellulose plate, presence of two flagella. Rapid multiplication makes the sea appear red, which is referred to as red tides. At times, they multiply rapidly and make the sea toxic, which makes the survival of other marine animals very difficult. Euglenoids, 
they are fresh water organisms. Instead of cell wall, they have a pellicle, presence of two flagella. They are photosynthetic in the presence of sunlight, but in the absence of sunlight, they behave as heterotrophs. Slime molds, they are saprophytic. Under suitable conditions, they form plasmodium, which is an aggregation of cells. And under unfavorable conditions, the plasmodium differentiates, forming fruiting bodies, bearing spores at their tips. Protozoans. The protozoans may be amoeboid protozoans, flagellated protozoans, ciliated protozoans, and sporozoans. The amoeboid protozoans have pseudopodia with the help of which they carry out their locomotion. Flagellated protozoans have flagella, example trypanosoma. Ciliated protozoans have cilia, example paramecium. And the sporozoans, they are diverse organisms, have an infectious spore-like stage in their life cycle, example plasmodium which brings about the disease malaria. Kingdom fungi. They are heterotrophic. They may be saprophytes, parasites, symbionts when they are found in association with algae, mycorrhiza when they are found with the roots of higher plants. Reproduction. Reproduction may be by vegetative means which is by fragmentation, fission, and budding. Asexual reproduction may be by spores, conidia, sporangiospores, or zoospores. Sexual reproduction is by the oospores, ascospores, and basidiospores. The sexual cycle follows three stages, plasmogamy, karyogamy, and meiosis. Plasmogamy is the fusion of protoplast. Karyogamy is the fusion of nucleus, which results in the formation of zygote. This zygote then undergoes meiotic division and forms haploid spores. Phycomycetes. Example, mucor and rhizopus. They are found in aquatic habitats, decaying woods, and moist places. Their mycelium is aseptate and cenocytic. Asexual reproduction is by zoospores or aplanospores. Sexual reproduction, isogamous, anisogamous, oogamous. Ascomycetes, they are the sac fungi. Example, yeast, penicillium, aspergillus. They are saprophytic as well as parasitic. They are decomposers as well as coprophilus. The mycelium is branched septate. Asexual spores are the conidia which are exogenously born. The sexual spores are the ascospores which are endogenously produced in sac-like SI. Their fruiting bodies is known as ascocarp. Basidiomycetes. Example, mushroom fungi. They are found in soil, logs, and tree stumps. Mycelium is branched and septate. Asexual spores are absent. Vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation. The fruiting bodies formed is known as basidiocarp. Deuteromycetes. It is also known as imperfect fungi. Example, Alternaria. They are reproduced by asexual spores called conidia. Their mycelium is septate and branched. They may be saprophytes or parasites. They are the decomposers of litter and help in mineral cycling. Kingdom Planty. They are eukaryotic chlorophyll containing organisms. Few partially heterotrophic. Example, the insectivorous plants, the Venus flytrap, and parasites, the cuscuta. 
The cell wall is made up of cellulose. Planty includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. Life cycle has two distinct phases, diploid sporophytic and haploid gametophytic. The diploid sporophytic and haploid gametophytic alternates with each other and so this pattern of life cycle is known as alternation of generation. Kingdom Animalia. They are heterotrophic, eukaryotic, multicellular organisms. They lack cell wall, definite growth pattern, holozoic mode of nutrition, presence of sensory neuromotor mechanism. They are capable of locomotion. Sexual reproduction is by the copulation of male and female resulting in embryological development. In the five kingdom classification, the acellular organisms are not mentioned, but there are certain acellular organisms like virus, viroids, and lichens. Virus, the word virus means venom or poisonous fluid. They are non-cellular organisms, they are nucleoprotein, and the genetic material is either DNA or RNA. The protein coat is called capsid, which is made up of capsomeres, which are the subunits. The diseases which are brought about in animals are mumps, smallpox, herpes, influenza, and AIDS. The plant diseases brought about by viruses are mosaic formation, leaf curling, and rolling. Viroids. They are smaller than virus. They have free RNA and lack protein coat. RNA has low molecular weight. Lichens. They are the symbiotic association between algae and fungi. The algal component is known as phycobiont and the fungal component is known as mycobiont. The relationship is known as symbiotic relationship. They are very good pollution indicators. Biological classification is essential in knowing the cell structure, body organization, mode of nutrition, reproduction, and phylogenetic relationship. Let us have a quick recap of the portions we studied. Kingdom Monera, Archibacteria, Eubacteria, under Kingdom Protista, we studied chrysophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, protozoans. Under Kingdom Fungi, Phycomycetes, Ascomycetes, Basidiomycetes, Deuteromycetes, and the Kingdom Planty and Animalia. We will continue with the same unit in the next episode. Music